Hi everyone, my name is Cormay and I've been maining a Mitsu for this season for Mythic Plus in 8.3. So a common problem that Mitsuivers run into is going oom. So I plan to make a few videos to try and address this and in this first one I mostly just want to focus on the spell Essence Font. So Essence Font is your AoE heal and it costs 7200 mana. Um, so I, the main first problem that I want to address with Essence Font is that I think when you switch to a Mistweaver from another healer, it's easy for you to kind of go through your spellbook and kind of relate and compare certain spells that this class has to other class has. So if you played a Druid, you might have looked at Wild Growth and compared this to Essence Font, which is budgeted for six people. Uh, Paladin, you might have compared this to Light of Dawn, which is budgeted to five people. On a Disc Priest, you might have compared this to Power Word Radiance, which is budgeted to five people, or Chain Heal on a Resto Shaman, which is budgeted to four people. So the thing about Essence Font is, is that it's budgeted for 18 people. This is part of the reason it costs so much more mana than any of those spells I just listed. Um, so it's a channel, it shoots out six bolts three times, so it can go up onto up to 18 people and leaves a hot on them. And the hot it leaves behind is budgeted for if it actually does go on to 18 different people. Now in a Mythic Plus setting, you only have five people for this to go on. But even though each person might get hit with three to four bolts, they're only going to get one stack of the hot. And so you're only really unlocking like a small portion of the amount of essence font is meant to do in a Mythic Plus setting. But just because that's true, it doesn't mean it doesn't have its uses inside of Mythic Plus. So there's two reasons, two very basic reasons, why you choose to press Essence Font inside Mythic Plus. The first is because you can cast it while moving. This is especially helpful on fights where you are under a loss of control effect, like the first boss in Motherload. When you get Static Shock, you're getting knocked back, you can press it. Or last boss of Toldegore, Overseer, Corgus, when you hit with Incendiary Rounds and you get knocked back, you can cast this. The other reason is because even though the hot it leaves behind hits like a wet noodle, um, any spell that you cast on that target will get another mastery proc on them or another gust of mist healing on them. So Mistweaver Mastery is called Gust of Mist. So whenever you cast any of these three spells, it also induces mastery healing on them. How much your gust of mist hits for depends on how much master you have. So how worth it is for you to essence font and then cast spells on those targets that have Essence Font on them might also be correlated to how much mastery you have. So let's kind of start looking at the efficiency of these spells. So first we have Gusted Mist, so this proc of three different spells, so I didn't list any mana cost for it. Uh, at the current master I have right now, which is 56%, it does 20,739 healing. Next, we're going to look at Renewing Mist, which costs 2,500 mana. The healing is close to 90,000 and the healing per mana spent that you get out of it is about 36. If you look at Vivify, this is just looking at one Vivify so there's no renewing mists or essence fonts out. Um, Cost 3,500 mana, does 57,000 healing and its healing per mana spent is about 16.4. And then we're gonna look at essence font. So because for Mythic Plus most of the time all we really care about is getting that hot out or just channeling it while we're underneath that movement impairing factor, like while we're having to move, most of the time you end up canceling the cast and you don't channel it for the full duration. So if you just channel it for the one global, you get two bolts. If you choose a channel for the extra like 0.9 seconds or something, then you get one more bolt out of it and it doesn't add anything to the hot healing. Like by that time you already have a hot on everyone in the group. So it's pretty common for you to just cancel it after that global is over and start casting something else. So that's how I'm always going to calculate it. So the mana that you spend on that is 7,200. And the healing is about 122,290. This is assuming it goes on five party members, and all five of those party members get all the healing from it. And the healing per mana spend you get out of that is 21.7. And at the bottom here, I have just my stats. Again, how worth it is for you might change depending on your mastery. This is kind of my generic setup, and so this is the setup I'm going to use to talk about for the rest of this video as kind of like the breakpoints for where it becomes efficient. So what I kind of want to do to kind of drill the point of when Essence Font becomes efficient is compare casting Essence Font and how much extra healing you get when you choose to vivify those targets and how mana efficient that is versus 
just putting your renews out and then just choosing to cast a vivify instead of essence spawn to vivify or just like an extra vivify instead of um essence font and then vivify things like that so we're going to kind of go over that this next screen is really bright so if you're watching this in a dark room and you don't like bright lights you've been warned okay so there's kind of two ways that i break down the healing in this chart and i'm going to explain so the first column here is of course the spells that you cast the next column is how much mana that costs and then i want us to look at the instant healing so these two columns are looking at the instant or what you could call the active healing that you're getting out of it meaning it's just looking at the healing you get from the vivify and either the vivify cleave or the extra mastery proc that the vivify gets because you casted it on a uh, target affected by essence font and then the next two columns are going to look at the full healing meaning looking at all the healing from the essence font hots or the renewing mist hots so whether you choose to pay more attention to the instant healing columns or the full healing columns kind of depends on the kind of fight. I think in most cases in Mythic Plus, the instant healing column is more important. This is kind of looking at the healing you're getting to save someone from that next damage event. Of course, while that's going on, there, you're, you're also, of course, going to be getting some of the ticks from the hots while that's going on. So there's no perfect column. Um, I think this is pretty accurate, though, for mo most like burst healing kind of fights. Like you could think of like Kragma. Nandarat Priestess of Lunza and Atal Dazar or like Flame Jets in the first boss or workshop. And then there's only a few fights that I would consider like patchwork healing fights where you're actually getting the full value out of your hots. And that was probably just like Galvaz in Temple and Gunker instead of Junkyard. Other than that, I think most boss fights kind of land like in the middle here. Um, I would say like things like Sand Queen and King Gobamak and Overseer Corgus and things like that kind of land in the middle here because even though they're burst healing phases after that burst healing ends you still rely on those hots to kind of tick everyone back up to full full uh full health before that next damage phase happens again and it's close enough in like the how fast those events come that the amount that hot does hot those hots do is more important those kinds of things so there's no perfect way to measure healing inside of Mythic Plus, so that's why I kind of broke these down into two columns, and I hope that made sense to you guys. Okay, so but looking at the actual healing, I don't want us to spend too much time being hung up on the numbers. I just want you guys to kind of see the trend. So that's basically what we're going to look at. So these first three rows are just looking at Essence Font and then casting Vivify on those Essence Font targets and how much healing that does and how efficient that is for your mana. So if we look at Essence Font and one Vivify... So at 80,000 healing, and the healing per mana spent is about 7.3. Two vivifies, it's about 11. And then three vivifies, it's about 13.2. If we look at the hot healing, it's basically just the same number, plus 122,000 from the essence font healing. So the numbers go up a little bit. All the other columns are looking at vivifies, and then depending on how many renewing mists you have out. So if we look at one renewing mist and one vivify, um, the healing per mana spend that you get out of that is 14.02 so just having one renewing mist and one vivify is instantly already more efficient than choosing to essence font and then do three vivifies on the instant healing end and on the full healing end and that's basically going to be true for all of these options almost always just putting out your renewing mist and then casting the vivify is going to be more mana efficient than choosing to cast essence font there's a couple of exceptions here where like um two rems and one vivify or three rems and one vivify is a little bit lower than essence spot and three vivifies but the differences in the amount of healing the raw healing that you got out of it means that like it's just completely un it's hard to compare the two because those are different in like in different instances you set up different spells that do different amounts of healing and the, the amounts of healing that are called for are very different so just don't pay attention to those numbers too much just mostly realize that for the most part Putting out rems and then vivifying is always going to be more mana efficient on the instant side, and it's always way more mana efficient when you take into account the full amount of healing that you're doing. So, I don't want you to look at this and say, wow, Essence Font sucks, and I should never press it because that's not true. Essence Font is still really useful for doing burst healing. It's not every fight where mana is actually like a big factor, and it, sometimes you do a really good job of like 
monitoring your mana so you can use essence font later to like try and save globals by getting a little bit of faster healing out or something or sometimes you need it to save someone from like an upcoming damage event i think a good example of this is like Kragma, you usually pre-essence font the tantrum so that you can do enough healing during the tantrum and it doesn't really matter because you're not worried about your mana. This chart is mostly just for you to think about like especially if you're like doing trash, you're like chain pulling inside of junkyard, you're chain pulling inside of motherload and you see three people take damage, should your reaction be hey I should vivify because I have a couple renews out or let me just like essence font and then you, you keep doing that every time a couple charges go out you're gonna go boom very quickly. That's all this chart is kind of trying to show you. Okay, so next I kind of want to go into a couple scenarios where we look at whether it's good or not, or whether I chose to or didn't choose Supress Essence font and why or why I didn't do it. Um, I think it's a really good way to learn as a healer is to watch VODs and uh, kind of like pause them, especially when it's like during like a high paced fight, be like, what spell would I have picked next or like chosen to do next? if it was me, and then kind of comparing that to what they chose to do and stuff like that. So that's kind of similar to that is what I'm doing here, but yeah. All right, so both of these are gonna be from Waycrest. So this first one is from Lord and Lady Waycrest. So looking at what's going on. So right now we have four renewing miss out and I'm in the I'm about to finish the Vivify cast. So we already know from that last chart that casting Vivify when you have four renewing miss out is really efficient. Um, this fight can be pretty mana intense. I think it's one of those that like falls in the gray area. Uh, there is a lot of healing you need to do, but there are kind of down phases during the Discord in Candeza. There's not really any damage going out except for on your tank, and so it allows you to catch up. Okay, but looking at this, I'm about to finish a, a Vivify, and four of my party members are below 70% health. Um, I have four renews out. That renew is going to travel to my mage before this Vivify goes off, probably, when the smart healing kicks in. And then after I finish that Vivify though, I have this virulent pathogen on me, so the circle below me, so I'm going to have to move. So the question here is, even though I know it's less efficient, should I choose Suppress Essence font? And my answer is going to be yes, because one, I have to move and I'm not really losing anything for it. Two, there's still going to be some extra damage going out. Discord and Candesa is soon, but she's still casting Racking Cord and I don't want any of my DPS to get unlucky and die because that mechanic can have a great RNG factor, which I hate. And also, I'm not worried about Mana in this situation. So, Lady Waycrest is below 50% health. She's going to do her thing a couple more times where she heals the Lord, and then after that, I only have to heal the tank. And I'm already above 62% Mana, so I'm not really too worried about my Mana, and I'm not going to feel bad about pressing Essence Font here. Um... Is it completely necessary that I do that? I don't think so. I don't think anyone would have died if I didn't. But also it's not really like a huge loss in this situation, especially since I'm like already moving compared to just like pressing a vivid fire or something like that. And I'm not really worried about my mana here. Okay, so in this same scenario, I instead want us to now pretend that this is like a patchwork fight like Galf, where we know we're going to keep taking damage and stuff like that. And I'm a bit more worried about my mana and you know, the boss still has like 60% HP or something. So it's like the same as my mana bar. And I want to know, is it efficient for me to press Essence Font? Like, is it going to be mana efficient for me to press Essence Font? How many times after I press Essence Font does it take for me to cast Vivify for to me to make it as mana efficient as if I chose to just press Vivify right now? And so we can look at the math of that. So if we're assuming we have four renewing miss out like we do right now, and we chose to press Essence Font instead of Vivify, in order for that Essence Font to break even with pressing Vivify, after we press Essence Font, we would need to Vivify nine times, or we, or I, I should say, proc mastery nine times, meaning that you could, you know, Vivify seven times and maybe uh, cast two renewing mists out. So in order to do that, we would need to Essence Font, and then we would need to extend Essence Font to its full duration of 16 seconds by doing two RSKs. So that would leave us about 10 globals inside the remaining Essence Font hot time to be casting other things, which means nine out of those 10 globals would need to be spent on either Renewing Mist or Vivify. So 
that's kind of just to give you an idea of what you need to do in order to make essence font mana positive in most like aoe boss healing situations it's not really common i think for you to want to sit there and cast nine vivifies in the course of 12 seconds with the mastery proc on there and for that much healing to be needed during a fight like galb like galb requires a lot of healing but it doesn't require that much healing all at once unless you're really behind now of course if you're really behind and you're not as worried about mana then it might be a good idea to press essence font or if you're afraid that someone's gonna die then of course you press essence font if you need it to catch up or something but it's just gonna kind of just show you like where that break point where it becomes mana efficient for you to press essence font is only if you're going to extend it both times which you should be anyways when you're playing rising mist and if you plan on casting nine vivifies which is a lot of healing which is probably more healing than you need on that fight in most cases okay so next i want to look at a situation where it looks a little bit similar to this but i choose not to press essence font okay so like i said same dungeon so we're on Sister Malady, and she has her curse out. So she's about to die soon, but the curse is about to go off in one second, and I have two stacks of the move debuff. So a good play here might be jump, get rid of the debuff, and press Essence Font. And that could be a good play. However, I have Diffuse up, which means the curse is not going to hit me for very much, and the aura is not going to hit me for very much. I still have Fort Brew available, and I still have Health Pot and Hellstone. Who I'm really worried about here are my 3 DPS, and right now my 3 DPS all have Renew on them. So the reason I also, the other thing to note is that the reason I only have 3 Renews out instead of 4, because it'd be really easy at 4, even 5 on this fight most of the time, is because I just got out of way, so I probably wasn't using my Renew charges, I was just DPSing. Um, so what I actually choose to do here instead it's just a plant and cast vivify to try and save my dps now in the long run it might be more burst healing for me to essence font and then cast vivifies but because i'm more concerned with them instantly getting some amount of burst healing so that when that curse goes off they live and so that when they start hitting sister briar and maybe proccing the aura of thorns they live i would rather just choose to vivify them and also i'm not really worried about my tank here like i said who I'm worried about here is my 3 DPS because they're usually the most at risk and I know I'm safe here. If I wasn't safe then yeah I would probably choose to press essence font. I would also have to think about though that my mana here is pretty low so if I press essence font that would put me below 20% mana and then we'd be going into sister briar. I, I don't think I would need that much mana for sister briar especially since she's about to die you don't even have to worry about fully healing off the dragon idols because she's just going to die because she's the last sister alive. But I did want to give you an example of kind of how you have to weigh the pros and cons and know that Essence Font kind of delays the healing a bit as well. It's not like like the first initial healing from Essence Font isn't enough and it delays the healing for putting the hot on and then casting the next Vivify, which would be about one and a half seconds after or yeah, one and a half seconds after they take the damage from this curse. So you kind of have to think about that as well. Okay, so that's basically everything I had to tell you guys. Um, I hope you found this helpful. I don't want you to think again, like, the Essence Font is some bad spell, and that's the message I'm trying to get across. I'm just trying to get across that if you're one of those people who thinks you should just be pressing this button all the time on CD whenever more than one person in the group takes damage, that that's probably not the case. That's probably why you're having a lot of mana problems. Um, oh, another thing I forgot to mention, you can channel Essence Font while you're eating a Sugar Crusted Fish Feast. So it's also something to get to do like after a poll or right before a poll while you're still drinking so that you could go in with those hops as well. Okay, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to try and make some other mod efficiency videos for Miss Weaver as I identify kind of the problems you guys are having. If you guys have any other common modder problems or spells or things like that that you would like me to address about Missy Romana, please leave it in the comments and I'll consider making a video on it. Thank you guys.